So Notion's had a Slack integration for a while, and I thought to myself, is this good? Like, do I like the idea of this? Does this stink? Is this the worst integration in the history of integrations? If you go to the Slack app directory and press add to Slack for Notion, it'll then ask you whether you will allow permissions to it, so do that. And then it'll say, all right, Slack is requesting access to Dimitri Panici's Notion workspace. You click on here, see that it's going to allow viewing, editing, creating new content, commenting, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get redirected to Notion and you'll see in here, a new workspace was connected. And if we go over here, we can see on the bottom right that I can add a Slack connection here. And what'll happen is Notion notifications requires a channel to post to an app. So you can select a area where you can post updates. So what I could choose is Notion notifications. I press allow. Now this is what the old connection basically was, where if I made changes to this page in some sort of way, if I literally added text somewhere here or changed a property here, I'd get a notification in Slack about it. But you can always remove that later. Now what is really cool here is the fact that with this new integration, you can do a couple different things that are amazing for quick capture. So say I was interacting with my editor and I was having a conversation with him about what's going on with the different updates that we're doing to the podcast. You can see he's actually responding to me in real time. If I do slash notion create, what'll actually happen here is we are able to, if I paste in, or if I select a different database here, so like tasks, it'll load a bunch of different databases that exist. However, something that is very incredible is say you copy the link to this view, which is my daily capture page, like my main today task page, and title it QA all podcast episodes, and then press add property. I have the option, to pick from the properties of that database. So then I also have the, uh, so what it does is when you paste in a specific view, it's gonna take all of the baseline information in. So then if I press save, I could have assigned more things to it, but I don't really need to because of the fact that, you know, okay, maybe I could actually go to Anchor, which is my podcast platform, paste this into the URL. And if I press save, you'll see that right here, it created a QA all podcast episodes and this is filtered to things that are assigned to me and are today, or they're a recurring task and created today. So this gave me the option to quick capture things in Notion to certain views. Now, if we do it again, slash Notion create, you'll see that there is a frequently used databases here. So I can quick click on this guy and double check, but if I don't have to do that, I can just press choose here and then I'm able to quick capture in my inbox. Say for example, I had an inbox that wasn't like me where you you know just put it to today and then move it later because I like doing things immediately if I can. But say for example, I had this inbox view, right? And I wanted to copy this link to view and I could change this to change database and then paste this in here and then put example inbox item and press save. You see that it also hyperlinks it here, by the way. So this is gonna be here, but let's make sure if we go to the inbox, this example inbox item, item is right here. So as you can see, it has the ability to quick capture stuff in Slack while interacting with people by just like, all right, I'm in the middle of a conversation with my editor, slash notion create. Word on the street is they're going to also make a lot of updates to the notifications Slack integration, which is huge considering that was just like kind of a hodgepodge of just getting a million notifications and I'd like it to be filtered down. Let's hope that's what they mean when they say they're updating that. And let's hope that you check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.